Darren here with Annapolis Discovered. Today, we have the pleasure of sitting down and interviewing local photographer Jay Fleming, whose work focuses on the Chesapeake Bay, environment, and the lifestyle surrounding the water. So I was born and raised here in Annapolis. Started shooting pictures in Annapolis when I was about 14 years old and immediately became attached to the Chesapeake Bay and what was in my backyard. So Annapolis has served as a great location for a backdrop for my work. So you have your book, Working the Water, which is on its third printing now, right? So congratulations on that. Tell us about how that came to be and what it features. So Working the Water is a project that started in 2013 mm -hmm. when I began going out on the water with watermen mm -hmm. and just photographing what they were doing in their everyday you know, jobs. Mm -hmm. And I didn't initially think that it would come together as a book, but the more that I went out and shot, the more that I learned about the seafood industry right. and how many people were dependent upon it and how, you know, how, how dynamic it was, how many different things are, that were going on in the seafood industry right in our backyards. I mean, for instance, there's people here in Annapolis that work on the water and catch crabs and oysters. And, you know, that's something that a lot of people living here don't even know about, that, you know, our neighbors are participating in these different fisheries to provide us with seafood. So it became, um, you know, it became a thing where I was very focused on documenting all the different fisheries. Mm up and down the Chesapeake Bay mm -hmm. in these small coastal communities. Mm -hmm. Like Annapolis, for instance, used to have 18 seafood packing houses at one time. Now there are none. Out of all of your pieces, this is my favorite. So um, I just wanted you to walk us through the story of this house. So this house was on Holland's Island, mm -hmm. which is a small island in the Chesapeake Bay that was once inhabited. Mm -hmm. And there were about 70 homes on the island mm -hmm. and roughly 350 people in the 1890s, which was the peak of the, you know, the civilization on the island, basically. Right. In 2010, I had uh, I'd seen some other photographs of this house and I saw that it was like just on the edge of the water. And basically I needed to get out there to photograph it. Right. So at the time I didn't have a boat I didn't really have a, a great means to get out there, but I had a kayak. Right. And we launched our kayaks from Bishop's Head, which is in Dorchester County, mm -hmm. and paddled about 13 miles to get out there. <sighs> right when we got there, I started taking pictures of the house. So I was in my kayak at water level, and that's how I captured that reflection right. in the foreground. I and it, about that. It almost gives you it looks like you're the house in the water. kind of melting into the water. Thank you for tuning in. We're so excited to see what Jay has for us in the future. Please watch out for his book, Island Life. Again, this is Darren with Annapolis Discovered.